Hello, and welcome to this podcast. Today, it's my pleasure to welcome Elda Brodji. Elda is professor at EUI, the European University Institute, and scientific coordinator at the Center for Media Pluralism and Freedom. She is also a member of the executive board of the European Digital Media Observatory, where she coordinates the policy research and analysis work stream. She teaches communication law at the University of Florence and was co-rapporteur for the draft recommendation on electoral communication and media coverage of election campaigns for the Council of Europe, where she serves as a member of various expert committees. Okay, Elda, you know about your challenge, telling us how to fix an element included or omitted in the Media Freedom Act. Hi, Caroline, thank you for having me. Um, let me uh, say first that I welcome uh, a proposal on the media freedom, uh, on media freedom at European level, and uh, it, could, it would be good to exploit the openness and the goodwill of the Commission in order to better tackle some issues that are relevant for media pluralism in the internal market. The proposal uh, is made of few elements, but uh, they have a great potential. And uh, I must say it builds also on the work of the Center for Media Pluralism and Media Freedom, and in particular on the Media Pluralism Monitor, and on the study on media plurality and diversity that we published uh, some months ago, and dealing, that is dealing mostly with the issue of prominence of content of public interest, pluralism in the media markets, uh, with a focus on how the online environment has prompted different and new problems uh, when assessing media pluralism. So the, the potential of the European Media Freedom Act proposal is uh, created by many elements, but in particular by what uh, in our study we call the media plurality test. What is uh, this test? According to Article 21, Paragraph 1 of the, the uh, European Media Freedom Act proposal, the impact uh, on media pluralism of a concentration involving media should be <clears throat> assessed by a national regulatory authority or body based uh, on the criteria defined by national laws. In this assessment, some elements should be taken into account the impact on public opinion, diversity of media players, considering also the online environment, safeguards on editorial independence and media sustainability. And uh, this uh, media plurality test is strictly linked with the role of the media authorities, both at national and uh, EU level, uh, namely with the Board for Media Services. The European Media Freedom Act sees them very much active in interpreting the standards based on which to assess what is problematic for media plurality. The national authority assesses the impact of a notifiable concentration on media pluralism and consults the board in advance on any opinion or decision it may adopt. The board gives its non-binding opinion on the draft national opinion. So, uh, it is welcome that the national laws should be revised in order to better take into account uh, media pluralism. Nonetheless, uh, some problems may uh, arise when implementing this media plurality, plurality test. Uh, the European Media Freedom Act proposal gives some principles based on which to revise national laws. At this stage, as they are foreseen in the, in the Act, they are not uh, very uh, detailed. The criteria in Article 21, Paragraph 2, based on which to assess the concentration are not very detailed either. So it will be interesting to see what is the interpretation provided in practice. The mention to the guidelines in Article 21, Paragraph 3, provided by the Commission, assisted by the Board, could detail some more criteria. criteria. It could be relevant. Uh, nonetheless, these guidelines acknowledge also the perspective of civil society, users, and media stakeholders. 
the board's uh, peer review is a good injection that adds something uh, to a policy on media pluralism. Uh, nonetheless, uh, it may result not fully effective. It is good that the European Media Freedom Act foresees the board's decides a two-third majority because this will help in building a jurisprudence that can define standards that exert peer pressure across European authorities. Uh, we um, could have also problems of independence in the national authorities. So this uh, system relies a lot on um, authorities, national authorities, but if we look at the Media Pluralist Monitor uh, report, we can see that not all the authorities are independent uh, from uh, the political and the commercial uh, powers. So this could, this could be a, a, an issue. The, um, another uh, problem that uh, uh, we see is that uh, the European Media Freedom Act should also clarify uh, whether the assessment, uh, um, the assessment on um, uh, media plurality is extended to cases in which uh, there is per se a concentration in the media market out of cases of market operations involving media that uh, seem the, the core of uh, the, uh, the, the, the scope of uh, the European Freedom Act itself. Um, th thank you, Elda. So um, if I summarize briefly the issue of media plurality, it is good that it is there, but a lot of the details are missing to a certain extent as they're pushed back to potential guidelines in the future. And what is what is included at this stage is not detailed enough to be sure that the test will be the right one or that it will be um, uh, stringent enough. Uh, there is the recurring issue of independence of regulators and the role that they play in these assessments and also the role that they play, obviously, in the board uh, um, discussions. And as you said, it is good that it's a two-third majority uh, that, that is required to, to create that case law, let's say, to, to define. And also, I think, uh, the multi-stakeholder approach to defining uh, these criteria involving civil society, involving stakeholders themselves involving involving academia like yourself that has an, a broader overview maybe than national regulators alone. Um, thank you so much for your contribution. Uh, let's hope that policymakers will pay attention. I'm sure they will. And that um, Article 21 will get improved uh, during the legislative process. Thank you, Elda. Thanks to you.